Hey everybody and welcome to the first episode of The Cutting Room 101 and while you're in The Cutting Room you'll hear myself and some fellow YouTube critics discuss movie topics and each week we'll pick a new movie topic and make a video response to that topic. The other YouTube critics that will be a part of this channel are Mike from Mike's Movie Show, Sean from Sean Webcom Official, Tom Viliotis, Tyler from Cali Critic Reviews, and Jordan from Rowanette. Each week we're going to take turns picking a movie topic and this week's topic was chosen by myself and the topic is for us each to talk about our favorite movie score and pick a score that we find to be very underrated. So my favorite score of all time comes from my favorite movie of all time and the movie is Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan and the score is by John Williams who is my favorite composer and the score is one of the most iconic scores out there it's so adventurous and it's one of those scores where you can't imagine any other song fitting the movie more perfectly than this does. And I almost consider the score to be a character in itself. I just love how it perfectly matches everything on screen and John Williams just really knows how to capture a feel of a movie within his score. And then even just the song that has to go with the arc and it's played every time the arc is on screen or when the Nazis are trying to find the arc. It has such a mystery sound to it and it just really makes the viewer think what's going to happen if they open the ark. But everybody should know about Indiana Jones, and if you haven't seen Indiana Jones or heard the theme song, in my opinion, it's required viewing. Everyone should see Indiana Jones at least once. What I really want to talk about is my pick for an underrated score, and I think that family movies tend to be really overlooked on their scores. I think there's a lot of great family movies out there, especially from the 90s, that had really fantastic scores. And the movie I want to talk about is the live-action Casper film from 1995. Casper was a movie I really liked as a kid, and I just watched it again for the first time in about a decade, and I still thought it was a pretty good movie. The first half of the movie is really slapstick humor with ghosts, and it's more aimed towards kids, but the last half of the film is really interesting because it takes a bit of a turn and ends up becoming more of a family drama. And I remember preferring the first half as a kid, but now that I'm older, I definitely prefer the second half. And there's this reoccurring tune that happens during the second half of the film called One Last Wish, and I think they put that tune to pretty effective use. It's played during the more dramatic scenes, and Kat, played by Christina Ricci, had lost her mother. And that's not really a spoiler because that's how it's told from the beginning of the movie. And her dad, played by Bill Pullman, lost his wife. And it's a little piano melody that is a pretty simple tune, but it's very catchy and it really works in those scenes. It's more of a sad, slower song, and it really fits those scenes. It really tugs at the heartstrings during those moments of the movie, and it makes you really feel for the characters. And the combination of that song and the acting during those scenes make for some really touching moments, and those key scenes just really made the movie for me. James Horner composed the score for Casper, and he's also one of my favorite composers. And the score is definitely worth checking out, and I really recommend the movie as well if you haven't seen it. So if you want to listen to the scores that I mentioned in this video, check the description box below because I'll be posting the links to those scores and you can check them out there. And I'll also be posting a bonus link to the movie Waterworld because that has a really great adventurous score as well and you might need to pick me up after you listen to the score from Casper because it can get pretty sad. So go ahead and check those three scores out and stay tuned to hear from Mike on his picks for a favorite movie score and an underrated movie score. See you next time.